Hi class, welcome to week six. Um, I'm still working on giving you feedback on your week five plans. Um, they're taking me a while because I noticed that many of you had uh, either didn't follow the instructions correctly or were confused. Um, so I'm going to just quickly go back to week five for you um, and show you kind of the main issues that I've been seeing. Um, if you look at gradebook and you've already gotten 100% on it, then I'm not concerned at all. Um, I'm trying to send you feedback through videos in your email um, because it's a little easier for me to explain it that way than to like type up all the instructions of what you need to change. So I just want you to re review what is required for this plan. So three locations, that's, everyone's been fine on that. Each location ha must have one media element. So you need to have an embedded image, an embedded video, or a hyperlink to a web website. I'm going to go through each of those. So the image, it needs to be, again, it needs to be embedded, and there are instructions later on how you're going to embed that. But you're, you need to give me, you can't just say, it says, for example, don't just say you will have a picture of a dog. Show the URL that goes directly to that dog picture. Notice how this dog URL example ends in JPG. Like we've been, I've been trying to emphasize it over and over again. You need to have citations that end in JPG, PNG, BNP, um, something that takes you directly to that image. Um, to get that, you have to just you right click on the image and ask for that image copy you image URL. That's where you get it from, or you go to the full size image and get that link. If you need to see a tutorial on that, you can go right up here to tutorials. I'm just going to take you to it really quick. And there's a citations page. And I've created a tutorial on how to get that, that citation that you need so that you're following copyright laws. Um, so if you've had trouble with that in the past, you need to re-teach yourself that. Um, okay, so we've got that covered. You need to have an embedded image, an embedded video, or hyperlink to, hyperlink to the website. The second, so I went over the image for the video. Again, you're going to have to embed it, and you need to actually give me the URL for that video. Don't just say, I'm going to have my students watch a YouTube video on this. You need to give me the actual URL that takes me to that video. Um, the website, again, you need to give me the website that they're going to be going and using. Um, if you haven't done those things and I haven't graded yours yet, please go and change the, cha fix it right now so that when I go and grade it, it's already taken care of and I don't have to say, hey, go back and do this and resubmit. If you change it now, then when I go in, if I haven't graded it yet, then um, you'll save yourself and myself some time. Um, each location must employ a layer. Those layers are listed on the instructions page. If I go to week five, actually it's right, okay. If I go to week five, these two first columns, or first, yeah, these two first columns are the visual and informational, those are all layers. So you need to have you need to use at least one layer in each location. So in all three places that you're taking your students to in your field trip, you need to include one of these layers. Um, the next requirement is you need to include at least one tool. Not in each place, but in your whole field trip, you should include one tool. Those tools are listed right here. So in your whole field trip, you have three layers and you have one tool and then up here or sorry and then back here you also have three media elements one in each location so each location has to have a media element and a layer and then somewhere in your field trip you need to have one tool um, 
Again, make sure that these activities that they're doing are grade level appropriate and that it teaches the objective that you're aiming to teach. And what I mean by grade level appropriate is, for example, if you are using a video, it should be appropriate, of course, for the students that will be watching it. And the if you're using a website, then the website should not be text heavy because these students, they're not doing this activity to go and read a textbook. So you should use something that's like a website that is interactive um, and engaging for this age of students. Um, all right, so that's week five. Now we're going to talk about week six, and I promise I'll make it really quick so you're not watching this forever. Um, please watch this relevance video of why you're good learning Google Earth, what the purpose is, that, purpose is of it um, as a future teacher. Um, and then you can read about the virtual field trip. Make sure you read these instructions carefully. One thing we really want to emphasize is that you're saving your K file correctly along the way so that you don't lose anything. Um, that, if you, if we, if I just take you to this really quick, um, Saving instructions, those are down here. So um, it teaches you about uploading. That's not it. It's up a little bit further. Oh, right here. Save your virtual field trip as a KMZ file. Read these instructions first. So make sure you, you watch these very carefully about um, how to save the KMZ file correctly. So that, because all of your place marks everything needs to be saved into that, into those, into one folder and saved as your KMZ file. Um, in the end, on your final page, you'll have the plan that you've already made. You'll have the paragraph that you've already put in there. You'll have um, down here, it says you're going to take a screenshot and there's a tutorial on how to do that. A screenshot of your virtual field trip just to kind of show a future employer what you know, just kind of get a, a one quick image of what their field trip will look like. Um, and then you will um, attach, you're going to attach your KMZ file. And that is shown in this tutorial here. Um, and at the end of the week, so next Tuesday, you have to do at midnight Monday, and then Tuesday, you have all day to go and look at three of your group members field trips look at their page look at their field trip you're gonna have to download um, their field trip in order to look at it on Google Earth and you're gonna comment on it um, and once you finish that you'll just report on that back on this page here and that's the only piece that you need to do to report on that. And then you do have a video reflection, and I'll be sending you guys an email regarding that. So sorry this was a long video, but um, I hope you have a great week, and please email me if you have any questions, and please be watching for my feedback on your video, um, on your, sorry, on your virtual field trip, and your virtual field trip plan. And um, if you, if this, orientation video has already helped you know what you need to go back and change on your field trip plan please go back and make those changes now before I even get to grading it I probably won't finish all of the grading even today because they just they take a lot more time thanks a lot